Hello, you developers. Welcome back to the Doing Days channel. Uh, today, we are going to read from Excel sheet and add those rows in the Excel sheet to our database. So, first, we need to install PHP Excel. So, yeah, install PHP Excel. You just do a simple Google search and the first link that pops up. So, it says that uh, you have to require this in the Composer section, uh, Composer JSON require section. So, I have open my composer JSON file and this is the require bit don't forget to put uh, put uh, comma there and this paste in okay so I'm going to save the file and I'm going to just do a composer update uh, so um, and do a composer update Okay, it will update. Uh, we will start writing the code. So I'm going to use branches, and let's assume that the client has a has all the branches on Excel sheet. So the Excel sheet should re resemble our database table. So here is our branches table, which has branch ID, company ID, and all the information that we need that we might need. Uh, so first, you have to create Excel sheet that is relevant to this so I have done that already so here's my branches file which has branch ID companies company ID and branch name and so on and so forth um, so th we have that so let's start to write the code that we need uh, let's close this and I'm going to create public function action import excel and i'm going to i'm going to assume that you will do the file upload part of the excel sheet i have done a lesson for that before so let's start first we need input file and the path to the file so mine is in the upload directory so yeah, in the upload directory uploads and so uploads branches file okay uploads branches file xlxx X, X. okay the next thing we need to do is to try and read this so we can try catch and exception so if nothing it doesn't work I'm going to say die error and the error is okay let's say die error okay uh, so I'm going to write try to read the file Okay, so just type with me input file type equals don't forget this backslash which means don't search within this namespace search out of it so php excel io factory io factory and it's going to say identify and the path name so that is input file next line object reader equals we copy this and I'm going to create a reader create reader So I'm going to path, pass in this input file type. Place it there. Next, object PHP Excel. And I'm going to call the object reader and start and ask it to load the file. So input file. 
Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. Now, next thing is now we have actually load. We have loaded the Excel file. Now we have to read through it and insert the data to the data database. So we have to get the sheet proper sheet sheet object php excel get sheet 0 next we have to get the dimensions the highest row and the highest column so highest row equals the sheet object oops and get highest row next get highest column is get highest column okay save next we have to read loop through the rows in the excel sheet so for loop account row it starting from one and the row has to be smaller or equal to the highest row and row plus plus now the row data so this will contain uh, the particular values for a particular row so all this information so row data sheet range to array we are going to put this into an array okay a dot row just type with me highest column dot row and null true false okay so as you can see in my excel sheet we have this first header so we need to skip that so i'm going to check so that is going to be the first line of our of our loop so we have we have to skip that so what i'm going to do is if row equals to one which is the starting loop i'm going to say continue that will skip the loop to the next line so next what we need to do is we, we need to insert the database record so I'm going to create a branch object and I'm going to assign the value branch I mean we can let the branch ID be null uh, or we can just have the particular ID that is here so I have an ID so I'm going to let it be there so branch ID equals to the first column. So that is row data zero zero. And next I'm going to, I have to do the same for all of these branch companies, company ID, branch name, address, all that. So branch Companies company ID. Let me get all of it in first. Branch name and branch address and created date, of course. And the branch status. 
so actually you don't have to read i mean you if you are putting the created date as the today's date we don't have to take it from uh, the excel sheet but if let's say if you are then it's simple now what we have to do is this is the first co first column the zero is the first column this is the second column and that's all we have to do fourth and fifth okay we have three columns now we do a branch save so just to make sure that everything is in I'm going to put branch get error function there and do a die statement okay so that is that uh, let's look, uh, like, take a look at our composer okay something has gone wrong no matching package hmm okay so we will go to our compose JSON file okay he has mentioned that we have to do this we have done that hmm okay I'm going to remove this for now and do it again okay so let's let it run uh, so that okay so we have to go to the controller branches and the name of the controller is action is import excel import excel so obviously it says that we don't have this um, okay uh, what can we do we have to wait till it all saves okay we'll just update the particular company's id otherwise we will get error so company's company id there should be companies one two and three let's check if there is so companies we have two three eight so we have to put two three eight or values that are in our company say so change eight and two three eight we have so we have branch name so new branch one new branch two new branch three okay I'm going to leave this as this branch created date we should put in dates that are valid so um this is the company staple we have in case the proper format is this so we'll copy one of these and put it here status should be let's say inactive and active First one is inactive, the second and third one are active. Okay. So now this is the numbers file. I have to export it to Excel. Next, I want to overwrite this. Yes, replace. Okay, that's creating our Excel sheet. Now that is good. We have the branches file xls x so uploads so that the path is correct okay now we have to wait okay everything is done let's do a run so p import access it call to undefined menu are your factory identify oh it's not it's not identified it's hidden oh, sorry okay so 
says the password is wrong. Maybe I had to put a root there. I changed the invalid date format, date time format, incorrect time. Okay. That's not in our Excel sheet. We put it this way. Hmm. Oh, I think we shouldn't put AM. Hmm. Hmm. Why have they put AM? Okay. Save and export again. Okay, now let's check and refresh. Okay, it's, it gives the same error. Uh, maybe what we should do is we should remove that column. We don't want that column, so we'll delete that column and save and export again and we have to fix our code let's put the date as date time okay yeah month date yeah Month, date, H, I, S. Yeah, now we'll check. There is no date time fraction, there is a date function. Ugh. Okay, branch address cannot be blank, it says. We haven't made it blank. Okay, let's do an inspect element just to see this clearer. Okay, get bigger. First one, branch status cannot be blank, branch status cannot be blank, branch status cannot be blank. Okay, so that means, oh, I see, we have removed one column, so this has to be four. I hope you got that. Okay, we have three gotten working properly and companies company ID company's name cannot be blank let's check our branches table okay we have added the three elements now the issue here is that why it's giving companies ID is blank it's really more columns than normal so I think we have rows that we need to delete here so the they are reading these rows as well which don't have any values there that's why it's giving these uh, branch IDs not branch companies ID are not existed so anyways we got it to work we have three blank arrays which means this function returns no errors so which means we got three branches inserted into our database so that was a long lesson uh, that was importing an Excel sheet so you have to do the file upload part yourself. So put the file upload part, set the part to your file here and write this code here and change the variables and all other stuff as you desire. Uh, so yeah, and the next lesson I'm going to do is exporting a grid uh, Excel sheet from the grid. We are using, we are going to use the Karthik uh, grid for that as well. So I hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this one. Do leave down comments and put your thoughts in so that I am more influenced to do another tutorial. So hope you guys like this one and stay tuned for the next one. And do subscribe to the Doing It Is channel. Thanks. Bye.